I think when we start getting into opinions about use of force, I think we should visit about that before we start blurting out opinions. We've already had several, and let's, I think we need to go and tread carefully because of. We've got so far opinions from Sergeant Pluger and from Lieutenant Zimmerman on use of force. We're going to hear from the commander or the then commander of the training unit about it. Beyond that, I think we have an expert witness from the state and an expert witness from the defense. Is that correct? Uh, two expert witnesses from the state on use of force, Your Honor. All right. We're getting, we are getting to the point of being cumulative. We're not asking every officer because that's cumulative. But also, uh, even having two seems like it might be cumulative, but I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, it just seems like, we said early on in the motions in limiting, you're not going to be able to ask every officer, what would you have done differently? And we're not going to go through that. You've picked, I've given you pretty good leeway that the sergeant who is involved in the case and the lieutenant who's involved in the case, a lieutenant who's been a peace officer for roughly 40 years, gave his opinion. Now you're going to have the training unit and the two experts, that's it. We're, we're done with it with asking other officers about the use of force. And Sergeant then, Yang, you can ask about what the training is on crisis intervention if the defendant had that training. And what? And crisis intervention training seems to be relevant to this case. Use of force training is relevant to this case. Medical training is relevant to this case. So all those summaries of the training that the defendant received according to his records and what your, the curriculum is, that's, I think, all admissible. I think when we start getting into opinions about use of force, I think we should visit about that before we start blurting out opinions. We've already had several, and let's, I think we need to go and tread carefully because of whether, they, whether their opinion is something that is the appropriate topic even for expert testimony because some of this stuff uh, is within the jury's knowledge and they should be able to do without an expert. So, but I think let's just kind of go with that and, and for now. Honor, if I may just, uh, as to the cumulative discussion, just to, right. to add to that, you know, I, you know, foreseeing um, you know, Mr. Nelson being an able defense attorney, I would anticipate if I were to just simply try to prove my case with experts, he would say, you know, the state, uh, hired some experts to say this was unreasonable, but what do the people who actually do the work say? Well, right? and, and I so, think we've gotten two of those already. And, so. and, and, and that's the reason. I'm just, uh, you know, I need to cover the appropriateness of the use of force really from, from every angle to give the full picture of the reasonable officer.